Hello Virgo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrianne, I'm here to do your messages from Spirit Reading and it will be for February 2021 for the sign of Virgo. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your first card. So I'll be pulling a few Oracle cards Virgo and then I'll pull three Tarot cards and go deep into the message. So what do we have for Virgo please, Angel Spirits Guides? What is the message from Spirit for Virgo? 2021 February 2021 thank you and remember these are just messages Virgo okay it won't resonate with everybody so what do we have for Virgo please angels spirits guides message for Virgo okay we have imagine solutions Do we have for Virgo, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Message that Virgo needs to hear the most. February 2021. Thank you. Thank you. You know, this sometimes appears when we forget to smile, however difficult things are. You know, sometimes changing our energy can just make us feel better. Sometimes it is the case that we are in a situation regardless of you know, what our circumstances are. So, you know, it can either get you down and own you or you can just choose to smile, you know. It's almost kind of like that smile in the, advice of ad in the face of adversity. So we have have fun, stop. When was the last time you had fun? When was the last time you took a chance and did something silly, something totally unlike you, something just for the joy of it? It's long overdue for, for you to let go of your analytical mind and to give yourself and your soul permission to have fun. Okay. Message for Virgo, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We have, yeah, number 13, emotional challenges resolve the issue. It's interesting that I'm getting this lighter energy and then I've got imagined solutions and resolve the issue. So it feels how something's affecting you, Virgo. Spirit is telling you there is something to do with that energy there that needs to be addressed. So we have Kangaroo, be a force for good. Archangels, Rockael, Gersisa and Sandalphon. So there's a message of be a force for good. I'm kind of getting that as, you know, stand in your own power. Let's pull some cards. Message for Virgo, please. Angel Spirits Guides, message for Virgo. So I'm going to pull three cards, Virgo. First card is the message from Spirit. Second card is what the message pertains to. And the action or advice from Spirit. Final advice will be the third card. So what do we have, please, Angel Spirits Guides for our lovely Virgos? Thank you. Knight of Wands. Page of Swords is what it pertains to. <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune. Wow, Virgo. <laughs> That's very nice energy indeed. So there's definitely this energy of you have the solution, you hold the solution, allowing yourself to, whatever this energy is, feel lighter, lighten the load, lighten how something's challenging you and it feels like in your internal energy is how you're going to understand how to get perspective in resolving some kind of issue. 
this be a force for good i'm definitely feeling standing in your own power but i'm also feeling align yourself with the good you know align yourself with you good as a person um also on the side of what's right for you now you know it feels that kind of energy because for some of you the advice from spirit is very clear i mean the knight of wands is an offer opportunity um an incoming offer opportunity that brings change and it feels very good in terms of um something that's very much aligned to your passions your desires and you know when the knight of wands appears virgo you're just kind of like oh thank goodness that's over i can put this behind me and just move on you know it's that kind of energy the knights bring change and you have two big change cards here you know as bookends to the page of swords so some kind of incoming offer or opportunity remember the ones is growth power potential uh, excitement something very much in line with your passions your desires uh, can be a card of inspired action as well so if you need to take action to do with resolving a situation this is how it's saying that if you take some kind of inspired action it is going to bring change your way so it feels very very beautiful indeed the page of swords i mean it can be to do with some communication that you've had it can be some offer or opportunity as a result of some communication that you've or conversation that you've been having with somebody uh, pages are the beginnings of something new the beginnings of change so there's i mean it can represent that it can also represent um things like learning and gaining higher wisdom so if this is to do with how you're taking action in a situation it's finding the wisdom the understanding on how you need to take action the swords are very much to do with mental clarity so it definitely feels for some of you that it could be linked to that as well but it can also be to do with maybe some kind of communication conversation that you've been having with somebody can also be uh it is it is also known yes it is also known as a new way of thinking yes new way of thinking that feels like that resonates a lot and again that is where this is coming in this this lightening energy here how you view a situation can bring change um because again that is the imagined solutions and resolve the issue here so i definitely feel this page is really important so for some of you it feels like there could have been communication these are general readings it can also be to do with how you view something yeah because for some of you or it can sometimes be to do with learning view something news because the wheel of fortune is a card of good luck good fortune things turning in your favor so there definitely feels for some of you there is some kind of change of fortune here i mean this is very good in terms of money career finances in particular it is fortune after all it can be bigger than that it can be to do with opportunity opening up uh, a turning point you know in your life that kind of energy but it's divinely timed things happen when they're meant to happen so the thing is you may have felt like things were beyond your control for a period of time because we get that sometimes with some of these cards on the table but nevertheless there's definitely the energy of changes coming your way and it's by your actions and how you're dealing with something or it can be to do with some kind of offer opportunity coming your way it feels very good with both of these cards here and this kind of news energy of some kind of offer opportunity um very very beautiful indeed virgo yeah and this is destiny you know this is destiny at play you know aligning to your destiny destiny is calling so allow yourself to just it's this kind of like viewing something or how you're dealing with some kind of internal energy issues um and it, it feels in this situation you have the ability to get on not only get on top of it but turn something around so it very very beautiful energy indeed so i'm going to pull you a final message final message for virgo please final message for virgo thank you
Very nice. So we have number 12. We understand that sometimes you may feel alone, but we are always here, number 12. Number 12 is really significant because it makes three. One and two is three. And three is about the beginnings of manifesting something new. You know, and the, the Wheel of Fortune can sometimes be about endings and beginnings, you know, as one door closes. It just leads you towards another door opening. But it happens when the time is right. And it feels for some of you, something is bringing change. The time is right for change here. So a very beautiful energy. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you, Virgo, and I will see you next time. Thank you.